October 22nd, The Witness of the Spirit The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit. Romans 8, verse 16 We are in danger of getting into a bargaining spirit with God when we come to Him. We want the witness of the Spirit before we have done what God tells us to do. Why doesn't God reveal Himself to you? He cannot. It is not that He will not, but He cannot, because you were in the way as long as you won't abandon yourself to Him in total surrender. Yet once you do, immediately God witnesses to Himself. He cannot witness to you, but He instantly witnesses to His own nature in you. If you receive the witness of the Spirit before the reality and truth that comes from obedience, it would simply result in sentimental emotion. But when you act on the basis of redemption and stop the disrespectfulness of debating with God, He immediately gives His witness. As soon as you abandon your own reasoning and arguing, God witnesses to what He has done, and you are amazed at your total disrespect in having kept Him waiting. If you are debating as to whether or not God can deliver from sin, then either let Him do it or tell Him that He cannot. Do not quote this or that person to Him, Simply obey Matthew 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Come, if you are weary and ask, if you know you are evil. See Luke 11, verses 9 through 13. The Spirit of God witnesses to the redemption of our Lord and to nothing else. He cannot witness to our reason. We are inclined to mistake the simplicity that comes from our natural common sense decisions for the witness of the Spirit but the Spirit witnesses only to His own nature and to the work of redemption, never to our reason. If we are trying to make Him witness to our reason, it is no wonder that we are in darkness and uncertainty. Throw it all overboard and trust in Him, and He will give you the witness of the Spirit.